Greetings hobbyists, this is Artisans of Vool. And in this video, we're going to explore the focus and specifically the isolate functions that come with machine tools. So this isn't going to be a long video and it's on something that's fast becoming one of my most loved features of machine tools. Now to be clear, machine tools is an add-on. I've done a number of videos on it. It is a free add-on if you go to Gumroad. You have an option of how much money to put in. Theoretically, you could put zero. I would suggest you put something in because this has obviously taken a lot of work and it is very, very helpful but that is entirely up to you. Now, once you've installed that, you'll have a lot of options, most of these that won't be on, but this one uses the focus tool, which is here. So you need to make sure that that one is clicked on for this to work. And essentially, this is really simple. If you click on an object and you press F, you will focus on it. And say, for example, there, it will come straight to it. And effectively, this is if I come over here, basically the same as the period key on the number pad. It does the same thing. Now, because of that, I have a tendency to change my key map because I don't need F to do this, but I'm gonna go through this using these standard key maps just so people don't get confused. So that was the focus tool and it's pretty well meh, but the isolate tool is really cool. Now, if I select, let's say these objects and I press control and F, you will notice that I isolate just those objects. Pretty awesome. I'm just gonna go out of that with control and F, but I hear you say, well, who cares if I press forward slash on the number pad, it does exactly the same thing. Yeah, it does. But what makes this so cool is, so I just want to have a look at these bits at the top in further detail. If I press the forward slash, it goes back. You don't have any levels to this. Whereas the isolate function, if I press control and F, and then you'll notice this says focus level one at the top. If I grab some more and press control and F again, it will focus some more. And if I then want to look at these, let's say just those and control and F, it will focus on just those. And to get out, you just make sure you're clicking nothing or you're clicking everything and you just press control and F and it goes out one. Now what's handy about this, especially if you've got a very complex object like, well, I mean, this isn't that complex because I've started merging everything together, but it was quite complex at one point. So what's useful about this is if I grab all of these and then control and F to go in, and let's say I just want to have a look at these. Now these are all mirrored objects and they're on both sides. And well, okay, I can go into, let's say vertex mode to see that, well, these are the original sides. Okay, so this is being mirrored onto the other. Or if I'm using the focus tool, if I press control and F, you'll notice that all of them appear, but I can just click unmirror and then it just gets rid of the ones that are being mirrored. So I know now these are the ones to focus on. These are the ones that I can move around. And that just makes it a little bit easier and quicker to sort of navigate some complicated scenes or objects that you've created. Now, I will say I do have a tendency to change the key maps of these. For example, normally I actually have this key maps to F because as I said, doing that with F is effectively the same thing as the period key, as I said. So I don't need that in an F. I mean, it is useful sometimes because it means I don't have to move my hand off the mouse, but having the F as the isolate key is way more interesting. If you don't know how to change key maps, if you just go to edit preferences and you come down in this instance to this add-on, most of them have key maps noted here. And if I just expand this out, you can find the key maps for your different things. And this one's very nicely laid out. It's got all the smart vert, smart edge and so on. And we're looking at focus. It would start like this. And you'll notice that the standard focus is key maps to F. What we can do is just turn off the top one, which is the one that zooms in without isolating. And then I can just come to the local view, click on the key map, which is control F, and then change it to F. If you do ever want to change it back, just remember, all you need to do is come down here and press that you want control to be included as well. Again, I'm just setting that back to F. So that's how you change your key maps. And you can do that for anything if you want. I generally try to avoid doing it for too much because otherwise it makes it quite difficult to look at things like guides as you don't know what key is what. But again, you can always come back here and have a look at what you've set your key maps to. So now in my instance, that would just work with F and I can unselect bits and then focus some more. But again, up to you what you prefer with this. So do let me know what you think. Is this preferable to you to the standard isolation tool, which is forward slash, or is this something you just can't see yourself using? Let me know in the comments. I'd be interested to hear what you think.